howdy. Um, it's been a while. I haven't made a video in a while of me actually talking to a camera, so that's exciting. Except the peanut butter and jelly video, which was really good. Um, I've decided I'm going to start vlogging because I have all this free time for, I mean, because of the COVID uh, craziness, which I hope everyone's safe. Hopefully this is a good video. Um, I suck talking to camera, so this vlog may be really sucky, but because of this COVID stuff, I have plenty of time to make like vlogs and stuff. So I thought, hey, why not? Um, I have plenty of projects to do. So I got a bus video. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my bus. Uh, and then I also got ATV I'm working on. Uh, I did a video a while back of the Polaris Trail Blazer, but now I took it all apart, repainted it. I'm in the middle of the project right now. I didn't film the beginning because I didn't know how good it would turn out. I'm not a, I'm a bike mechanic. I'm not an ATV mechanic or anything like that. I work on bicycles, so we'll just see what happens. It's gonna be weird. So here's the Mean Machine. Uh, this is my two, our 1993. Uh, Polaris Trailblazer 250. Um, I took everything apart. Uh, I took the transmission, engine, everything out. I just put the transmission back in because I'm trying to put it back together because I just got done painting. Um, and what I used was first I sanded it all down, cleaned it up. Uh, I used rust reformer on the rusty parts uh, and then I let that dry for a couple hours. And then I used like two coats of the primer, the self etching primer, which seemed to work really, really well for this. And then I did about two coats of this farm all paint, or the farm paint from Rosoleum, which seems to work really, really well. Um, it does say it dries in 24 hours, but I don't think it like fully dries. So it probably needs a couple more days, but I brushed it on. So it doesn't look the nicest, but it went on really like thick, which is fine. It's not supposed to be look pretty, it's supposed to work. Um, but yeah, it turned out really good. Now I'm just going to put everything together. I also painted the exhaust, which uh, I need to take a look at right now. So here's the exhaust. Um, it turned out really well. So I used this uh, high heat paint with high heat primer. It's pretty much the same way you paint everything. Um, but it has a cure time uh, that you have to actually heat up. So it's technically not fully cured, but it's hard to the touch. Um, so yeah, you just have to put on the ATV and let it run for a while and it fully cures then, but it turned out really well. It looks really good. Sweet. You might be asking yourself, why in the world would you rebuild a 1993 ATV? Uh, I can't get any plastics for it. Uh, it's too expensive. It's like four or $500 for plastics, which is outrageous for this ATV. Um, it's just, I'm kind of bored right now because of all this COVID stuff. And I said, ah, it's in rough shape. I'll rebuild it all, and it's been a great ATV. Absolutely loved it. I did a video about it, which was a while ago. I'm sorry if you've ever watched that one. It's kind of cringy. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be a good ATV at the end. Uh, I need to rebuild the front end, um, or the front plastic, should I say, uh, because I broke off the fender uh, in this video. Uh, you can see I kind of got a little crazy. But yeah. Um, it just needs work done to it, and I have time to do it. I'm making this vlog. I'm sorry, I suck at talking in front of the camera. Usually I'm behind the camera making other videos, but because of all this stuff, I can't really be around people to do videos. So this is what you're gonna get. Hopefully they'll get better uh, in due time. I need to run this brake caliper back to this rotor, but it's kind of dirty and stuff. Um, really rusty so I'm gonna spray uh, some vapor rust just spray it right on let that sit for a couple minutes and I'll take a steel wool and clean it all up and then I'll wipe it down with high spray alcohol because you don't want contaminants on your brake pads so yeah let's get her done Now, when you put this caliper in, uh, whenever you work on hydraulics, put something in between the two pads because uh, when you work on hydraulics, the pistons get stuck in place. Actually, I don't know with these. Uh, I know bicycles, um, SRAM, Shimano, I mean, all hydraulic brakes, you need to make sure you put something in between. 
uh, like especially when you transport a bike because you don't want to uh, push these pistons out so far there you have to push them back or even bleed the brakes in some instances um, so yeah just make sure you protect that I'm gonna put it back on I need to run this line because this needs to go under here it connects to this and you zip tie and then it comes up right here so yeah I'm gonna put this on and hopefully everything comes back together properly Okay, so it's on, uh, it's loose right now, I just need to finish tightening it up. Um, I'm not for sure the torque spec at all. It's probably German spec, I have to say. So I got the wiring figured out. Um, I got the bracket back on, uh, transmission's pretty much ready to get like totally fitted done, um, but I need zip ties and a couple things from the store, uh, so I think that we're done for today uh, with the ATV um, until I get to the store, so I may be able to get it more done today, but uh, now I'm going to go on a bike ride with my friend, so hopefully you'll be seeing some cool stuff. It rains, so we won't be doing a lot of trails, but... Yeah, this is pretty much done for today. Um, but yeah, the vlog's not over.